Thank you, Ray. Now, as you know, here at GB News, we like to cover the stories that the mainstream media doesn't like to talk about. And there's not been much coverage of the extraordinary events going on right now in Germany. Farmers are staging a week of nationwide protests against cuts to fuel subsidies, and Germany wants to hit net zero by 2045, five years ahead of the UK. Farmers have blocked roads while some protesters have clashed with police. Well, I'm joined now by German MEP Marcus Buckeit, who is from the Alternative for Germany party. Welcome to the show, Marcus. Always a pleasure. So for the benefit of British viewers who might not be fully up to speed about the German tractor protest, can you tell us why it started and what caused farmers to take to the streets in such, such extreme numbers? Well, first of all, you might say that it's not only farmers who are going to the streets right now, it's also hotel owners, it's restaurant owners, it's a lot of craftsmen and workers here as well who are simply overwhelmed by the enormous raise in prices here. And now in the concrete case of the farmers, surely of the diesel taxation, which is starting now, you know perhaps that due to the carbon dioxide reduction the German government has envisaged for the next months and years to come, we pay around 10 cents more per liter of diesel or, or fuel as well right now in Germany. And surely that will have a huge impact on the production costs not only for the farmers, but also if you think about truck owners and all the, the shipping industry. And Marcus, um, this has echoes of the Gilets Jaunes movement in France. Of course, that was initially over rural taxation to fuels and also echoes of the Dutch farmers protests. Again, that was hit farmland being hit hard by governments trying to cut down on carbon footprints. Do you think it is net zero zealotry that's driving this? Yeah, yeah de definitely. Uh, however, you, you might always, you see, in France and Belgium, as well as in the Netherlands, uh, the reaction of the public is always much more robust than here in Germany. So it is quite surprising to us, for me as a politician, for our party and for the greater public here in Germany, to see that people are taking to the street in such an immense number, blocking the streets and, and having these huge demonstrations overall and showing their power and also their de determination to go against these new laws. And how angry are the German public? Uh, we, see, we see in Britain there's no real consultation on the ability to vote on things like this. How angry are the German electorate about um, net zero measures, about the cost of living crisis on top of that? They, they are extremely, in extreme anger right now. I mean, you see it right now, the, the current government consisting of those three parties, the red, the, the yellow ones, the liberals and the green ones, I think they have around 30% in polls right now. I mean, they are declining massively and the pressure from the street is rising every day. I mean, you shouldn't forget one thing. We just started the 8th of January. There are many, many more protests to come during the next days and weeks. Yeah, and, it, and it's now um, gone into other sectors, right? You mentioned that a lot of, lot of um, other sectors are going on on strike too. They're downing tools in solidarity with the farmers. What does that mean for supply routes in Germany? Are there food shortages? Uh, not yet. We, we haven't arrived there quite yet. And you have to see that, especially the what you see, the, the EPP party here, which is the Christian Conservative Party, the CDU, they are quite closely, traditionally closely connected to the farmers, and they try to keep that still quite calm and down. But I think they will not succeed in the long run, because you see there is no action from the government going towards these protests, going towards understanding the people and why they take to the streets. And Marcus, so, uh, has, this, has, this, happens, huh? has this people power, has this uprising had an impact? Have the government rode back on any of these policies or are they sticking to their guns? Well, you see, um, it's a federal republic, therefore in certain states you do have some small signs of going towards these demands and maybe abolishing some laws. But so far the federal government has not taken back any of them and they keep going their route. And they, as you mentioned it before, they need to because they want to achieve net zero and the farmers, according to their ideology, need to contribute to that. And, Marcus, do you think this will have a net result of a political um, outfall? Will there be a political impact? We're seeing all over the world this year 70 elections nationally. What about in Germany? Do you think people are going to start voting against punitive net zero measures? 
Absolutely. They, they can't, as you mentioned before, they can't directly vote against these measures, but they can vote for the parties who are against these measures. And that is mainly one party, and that's my party, the AFD. And you see us right now in polls with around 23, 24 percent. We expect certain results far above the 30 percent in the certain eastern states like Brandenburg and Turinga. And I think this will be a wake up call also for challenging the current uh, political system in Germany. And Marcus, um, in Germany, as in Britain, your party is often branded as right wing, as the Brexit party and others were in the UK. Are the political establishment worried about the insurgent movement that you represent? Obviously, but you shouldn't forget one thing. They are mainly worried about losing their jobs and mm. losing the jobs of the guys they employ. So uh, that is their main problem. So however they want to call us, they might call us right-wing, right-wing extremists, whatever. It doesn't matter. We are there for the people. We have the way towards pragmatism while the others keep the way towards ideology. And I think what we need nowadays, that is pragmatism. OK, thank you very much for joining us on GB News live from Germany. Markus Buckeit, German MEP for the Alternative for Germany party, got elected the same day as I did. But of course, I was with the Brexit party. I was a turkey voting for Christmas.